Hi everybody, my name is Mahayla and I'm the ILCOR member at EKU's Division of Natural Areas. It's the first day of summer, so today I'm going to be reading Super Summer, All Kinds of Summer Facts and Fun by Bruce Goldstone. So let's get started. Super Summer, All Kinds of Summer Facts and Fun by Bruce Goldstone. Summer is a super season of plenty. In summer, there's plenty of sun and plenty of fun. Fields are filled with plenty of flowers, fruits, and vegetables. Animals have no trouble finding plenty of food. Days feel long, but they are actually getting shorter. Summer begins on the summer solstice in the northern hemisphere that's a day near June 21st. It's the longest day of the year. Summer ends on the autumnal equinox in the northern hemisphere. That's a day near September 22nd when day and night are both 12 hours long. Summer heat comes from the sun. Heat is a form of energy. Light waves from the sun bring heat to earth. On a sunny day, you can feel energy from the sun heating your body and the things around you. Ultraviolet UV rays from the sun can be dangerous even though you can't see them. Wear UV blocking sunglasses to protect your eyes. Use sunscreen to protect your skin. Summer clothes are light in weight and color. Lightweight clothes help you stay cool all summer. You don't need heavy clothing to keep warm. Light colors help you stay comfortable because they don't heat up as much as dark colors. White or pale pastel colors reflect light, so some heat energy bounces away from you. Because dark colors, like black or navy blue, absorb light, they also absorb heat. Sweat helps cool your body. You often feel plenty of sweat in the summer, and that's a good thing. Sweating helps cool your body down. When you get overheated, your body releases fluids through tiny holes in your skin called pores. As the moisture evaporates, you cool down a little. Drink plenty of water to restore the fluids you lose when you sweat. Animals have plenty of other ways to stay cool. Many animals can't sweat to cool themselves down, so they may pant instead. Panting circulates air through their bodies. Dogs pant a lot, but cats may pant on hot days too. Some birds open their beaks to pant. Furry animals often shed their thick winter coats to stay cool in summer. Warmer weather causes dense winter fur to fall out gradually. Many animals seek shelter from the heat. Reptiles, amphibians, and fish are cold-blooded animals that cannot regulate their own body temperatures. Their bodies are the same temperature as their environments. So when it gets hot, these animals seek shade or dark places. Toads and salamanders hide under leaf litter. Frogs dig into refreshing mud. Fish and aquatic turtles move into deeper water where the sun's warmth doesn't reach. Birds and other animals take a quick dunk to cool off. Some animals slow way down in summer. During a summer heat wave, some animals have an unusual way to keep cool. They slow down and enter a state called estivation. Some frogs, toads, snails, and a few kinds of squirrels find a sheltered spot and go into this sleep-like state. They stop eating and use food and water reserves in their bodies until cooler weather comes. This behavior helps prevent them from getting too hot and drying out. Here is a desert tortoise, a crocodile, land snail, and a red-legged frog. How does summer feel? Cold, grassy, Sandy, dry, hard, bumpy, hot, sticky, wet, wetter, wettest, breezy, 
and smooth. Summer sun shines on plenty of flowers. Sunlight brings energy plants need to grow. Many flowers bloom during summer. Annual plants have a life cycle that lasts one year. They grow from seeds, bloom, produce seeds, and die in one growing season. Perennial plants live for more than two years. They may come back year after year. Where a plant lives affects how it grows. A plant that is an annual in a place with cold winters might be a perennial where it is warm year round. Young sunflowers follow the summer sun. Some plants follow the sun during the day. This process is called heliotropism. Young sunflowers move their blooms to face the sun as it moves from east to west each day. When a sunflower is growing, each side of its stem grows at different times. During the day, the eastern side of the stem grows faster, causing the bloom to move towards the west with the sun. At night, the western side grows faster, causing the bloom to move back to the east. When sunflowers are mature, their stems stop growing and their blooms face in one direction, the east, all day long. Bright flowers attract attention. Colorful summer flowers are more than just pretty. They help plants reproduce. Bright colors and sweet smells attract bees and other insects. Inside most flowers, there's a sweet liquid called nectar. When insects gather this tasty food, they also rub against the plant's stamens, parts of which are covered with fuzz called pollen. The insects may carry the pollen to a plant's pistil. If the pollen falls on the right spot, it travels down through the pistil to the plant's eggs. The pollen fertilizes the egg and a new seed is formed. Here is the pollen. Here is the pistil, and here is the stamen. Birds, bats, and the wind carry pollen too. Farmers have plenty of summer crops to pick. Blueberries, zucchini, peaches, cherries, green beans, cucumbers, raspberries, tomatoes, plums, strawberries, watermelon, blackberries, and corn. What does summer taste like? People come together in summer to share tasty foods at picnics, barbecues, campfires, and fairs. What's your favorite summer treat? Sometimes summer stings. Mosquitoes bite with their mouths, which are shaped like upside down funnels. They push the narrow part of their mouth into people, animals, or plants. Female mosquitoes feed on blood and sometimes plant juices. Male mosquitoes feed only on plants. When a mosquito bites you, it leaves a little saliva. Your body reacts to chemicals in the saliva and you feel an itch. Here is a picture of a mosquito. Bees and wasps have stingers to defend themselves. When they feel threatened, they may sting, and when they do, they inject venom that makes your skin swell and itch. Because honeybees have barbed stingers that stick in the skin, these bees can sting only once. Wasps don't lose their stingers so they may sting many times. You can avoid stings by leaving these insects and their nests alone. If a bee or wasp comes near you, stay calm and don't try to swat it. Here's a picture of a bee and here's a picture of a wasp. But not all summer bugs will bug you. Ladybug's bright coloring warns birds and other predators that they are poisonous. Fireflies are lightning bugs, light up to attract mates. 
Their glow is called bioluminescence. Dragonflies were one of the first flying insects on Earth. Prehistoric dragonflies had a wingspan of about 30 inches across. Modern dragonflies have wingspans of 2 to 5 inches across. Male crickets chirp to attract a mate. The bottoms of their wings have ridges that are like teeth. Crickets scrape a sharp edge of their wings against these ridges to chirp. Water striders skim the surface of ponds and small pools of water. Thousands of microscopic hairs on their legs trap air and repel water, giving this bug the amazing ability to walk on water. Scientists estimate that there are about 20,000 different kinds of butterflies. Their wingspans range from about half an inch to nearly a foot. What shape is summer? What shapes do you see in and around this pool? What do you see that's half circle? Can you spot a diamond? A rectangle? What does summer sound like? Buzz, splash, creak, cheep, crack, boom, vroom, sizzle, wee, whirl, hum, cacao, crash. Summer vacations can take you almost anywhere. A vacation might last a day, a week, or even more. Where would you like to go? An amusement park? The woods? The beach? Well watching? A picnic? A cave? A city? A water park? A county fair? A hike? People have plenty of ways to play in the water, on land, and in the air. Hang gliding, water skiing, sailing, snorkeling, surfing, inline skating, skateboarding, ballooning, bicycling, kayaking, riding a roller coaster, canoeing, windsurfing, and swimming. Summer is time to celebrate. Independence Day, Flag Day, Father's Day, and Labor Day. School starts at the end of summer. In the United States, most schools start a new year around Labor Day. Kids across the country get notebooks, pens, pencils, and other supplies to prepare for a new grade. And the year is not done. There's plenty of fun still to come as Super Summer turns into Awesome Autumn. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed the book and you learned all kinds of facts about summer. Now get outside and have some summer fun. Stay safe and I'll see you next week. Bye.